blood hunters hunt when the war continues. Sam and Connor stood by the fire as it roared violently. Sam stared at Connor, then said, Do you even know what we're hunting? Connor shrugged and said, I've known about as much as you've told me, Sam. Do you mind explaining what we are going to be hunting soon? Of course. It is simple. We are going to be hunting a vampire's den. Why aren't you and Abby dealing with the vampire's den? And how do we even know it's a vampire's den? To be fair, I'm still just lost. Why are we hunting a vampire's den? Do you really need a reason for why we hunt a vampire's den? We don't need reason. We need it to find this thing. It has claimed ten lives already, and in, if not put back in its place, we will be the next. Yeah, 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 sure, but how do we know it's a den? I mean, for all we know, it could be one single individual vampire. Compared to, well, everything else, we simply just don't have the answers. I mean, think about it like this, Sam. Name the last time you actually fought a vampire. That would be last week. I'm failing to see a point here. Okay, okay, okay. Allow me to explain in simple terms, okay? Long ago, think about it like this. I killed Dalen, yes? Dalen was just another vampire at the end of the day. He killed many, many, many foes. Why in the world would we not believe that this could be the work of one individual vampire? I mean, we killed many monsters all the time, Sam. Why in the world would we not just assume that this is one individual vampire? And how do we know it is a den? I see your reasoning. But we must assume the worst. That is how we get by in this life, don't you agree? I mean, honestly, yes, you did kill Dalen, who, at a certain point, was an incredibly dangerous monster. But we can't continue to sit around and act like nothing is wrong. Don't you see the problem there? I guess, yeah. But allow me to put it in simple terms again. We're going into a hunt we know next to absolutely nothing about. Why in the world is this so hard for you to understand? The blaze continued in the fire. Connor, sitting next to it, believed that the world was simply coming to an end. He had only been awake for a few months, and he had already seen his share of monsters, and he didn't want to deal with any more. Of course, Connor being the optimist in this situation, while Sam continues to look on with hesitation, but not fear. Connor doesn't understand exactly why. Why is Sam like this? Hey, I know this is going to be kind of a personal question, but will you indulge me for one minute? I kind of, like, I know we're not supposed to get into our personal lives, but where did you come from? I mean, how did you find the Hunter's Order? It... it if that's not too out of the way, I'm, I mean, I don't want to be rude and intrude on your personal life. I guess it's about time someone finally knew. You see, Connor, I... Blasted. I was not like you. And what I mean is... I wasn't born into the Hunter's Order like my friends and my allies. I was actually quite different. Different how exactly? What do you mean different? And what exactly do you mean? It just doesn't make any sense. You're different, different how? Were you born into the Hunter's Order or were you not? Sam stared at the fire again, this time with more worry in his eyes than Connor has ever seen before in his life. This was something different to Connor. He had never seen Sam with such great fear and great emotion. 
It honestly was kind of concerning to him. Long ago, I... How do I word this correctly without... Long ago, I fought against the monster horde before. But it wasn't by a blade. It was by experience. You see, we, you and I, are not too different, Connor. We've had things taken from us. I lost my family. I... I want to believe that they're still okay. Believe that they're still okay? What do you mean, believe that they're still okay? Are, are you... What happened to your family, Sam? Long ago... My... How do I word this correctly? My... Family... Was divided. I won't get into exactly what happened, because to be fair, I didn't know myself. Of course, I was shipping out as a privateer. I had to. I had a responsibility, and as much as I wanted to stay with my family, I couldn't. They went their separate ways. They told me to never come back, because honestly, they didn't care about me anymore. That's awful. Why in the world would they dare do such a thing? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Did... Were they against you being a privateer? I believe so. At least, that's what I think it was. I'm... I'm still trying to figure out what's going on or why it's going on. But, I have had contacts put out to look for my family. See where they are and keep tabs on them. I spent a lot of money trying to just keep my family safe. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Sam. I'm sorry to hear that your life was taken away from you, not by the hunter's order, but by something else. I mean, I guess all I've ever known is the hunter's order. You and I both know I was born quite literally to be a killer. So... I'm sorry you had to experience this life. Don't be. I... I wish to know more about who I was and what I was. Don't feel sorry for me, Connor. It will do no one good. But... Thank you. It's at least nice to know I can talk to you about this situation at hand. And, to be fair, it is refreshing to finally hear it. You know, back in the castle, I truly believed I was a warrior solely meant to kill. Nothing else. I I wasn't unhappy, but I felt like I was lacking something. Eventually later discovering that it was my humanity, wanting and begging to come out. Something I, I was really deeply concerned with. Dalen put fear into my eyes, and there was nothing I could do. The two stared at the roaring fire again, this time with very little much to say afterward. Sam decided to go to bed and relax and get ready for tomorrow's hunt. Connor stared continuously at the fire, wondering what he had become. Was he a man, or was he a monster? A hero or a villain? A friend or a foe? All these answers just left him confused. He wanted to know more, he really did. But he was so concerned and so scared as to what he was that he didn't really care anymore. So he decided to turn in for the night and go to bed. If you enjoyed this clip of Blood Hunters, let me know, and I will see you guys tomorrow to do the next bit of this hunt, and we can see where it is going.